Hey guys, Brian from PFC here. Uh, a lot of guys asking questions about the engagement uh, video that was released yesterday regarding a police officer engaging from the inside of his car out to stop uh, some attempted murder subjects. Uh, number one, very aggressive, very decisive. We'll see if uh, the administration supports his, his choice of people over policy. Uh, what we're really gonna talk about right now is just the, the mechanics and the physics of what's truly going on with a bullet when it takes and it, uh, and it strikes. Three primary areas I just wanna discuss very quickly. One is bullets exiting the car, one is bullets entering the car, and then uh, and then one is the effect of that glass on the, the jacket as far as accuracy, fragmentation, stripping of jacket goes. Bullets that are exiting the car, obviously we know that side glass tends to break and it drops out completely unless it has tint on it, whereas front windshield glass tends to maintain its integrity and stay together. Bullets that are exiting from the, uh, the inside of the car and going out, if you can imagine that due to the angle or the slant of the windshield, the top edge of the bullet contacts glass first, that slows the top edge of the bullet, speeds up or rather keeps the bottom at a consistent speed which causes it to kick around and it exits traveling higher. Uh, so we do start seeing deviation across distance. As the distances become greater and greater, those bullets are going considerably higher. Bullets that are entering the car, they're slowing down on the bottom edge. So they're uh, touching the windshield first at the bottom edge and then the top edge is kicking over and they're going a little bit lower. What's the primary difference between the two? The distance between the windshield and occupants in the car can't be that great only because of the size of the, uh, the cabin. Whereas the distances outside of the windshield exiting the car are, uh, for all intents and purposes, are infinite. So that's a consideration that we need to be conscious of engaging from inside out. We definitely need to be conscious of holding low. As far as type of ammunition goes, full metal jacket or uh, hollow points. We see that the abrasiveness of the glass tends to grab a hold of the bullet and peel portions of the jacket back. That affects accuracy, stability, and bullet weight, what eventually makes its way to the target and hits. So results may vary. If you're people who don't believe that we should be learning or training on how to fight inside of uh, cars or around them, you're stuck in the Stone Age or living with your head in the sand. Be safe.